Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, November 14th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Manuel today wrote a quick reminder that's uh, well, also one of my favorite topics, uh, DNS uh, logs and how important they are to detect intrusions. In particular, uh, Manuel here is looking at the uh, command control channels that often use sort of some uh, custom made up names uh, that the attacker registered. Now, yes, you have some uh, sophisticated attackers that uh, try to mimic specific well-known domains names and try to kind of fly under the radar that way but uh, quite often attackers are using essentially sort of random strings of letters and numbers in order to use these names then as a domain name for their command and control channel that of course is not that difficult to spot. What uh, Manuel here is doing is looking at uh, the frequency distribution of letters which uh, prioritizes these random uh, host names because they usually have few uh, duplicates and with that you know it's able in this case to spot pretty quickly and pretty easily a uh, relevant uh, domain name now just a uh, one little trick here that uh, manuel isn't mentioning if you do want to extract things uh, like you know here ip addresses and uh, host names or domain names uh, from a file like this from a pcap if you don't have an existing tool it uh, actually T Shark works really well for this if you just want to extract the relevant uh, fields. Take a look at the dash capital T and then fields option, and then you can just list individual uh, fields. And then we have a somewhat concerning paper about the security of SSH from four researchers at the University of California, San Diego. The problem here is that it is apparently possible in some fairly common SSH implementations to actually derive the private key on the server. Having the private key on the server then would allow an attacker to launch a machine in the middle attack. Notice that it's the server private key, which typically does not allow you to log in to the server but that key is used by the client to verify that it actually connects to the right server that's sort of where the machine in the middle attack comes from the main issue here is and i refer to the paper for lots and lots of uh, details that if you are able to observe some faulty signatures signatures that for whatever reason have an error in them you can use those faulty signatures to then derive the secret key from the server with uh, some reasonably low effort. They collected a good number of uh, SH connections from their university network and found many of them to be vulnerable and being able to derive the keys. Two manufacturers sort of stuck out, Sykesel and uh, Cisco. They were both contacted and uh, they should have fixes uh, deployed or actually have had fixes out there for uh, quite a while. Uh, but again, refer to the paper for all details. There is uh, lots of subtleties here uh, to it. Also, RSA is the particular algorithm being vulnerable here. If you're using an algorithm other than RSA, like elliptic curves or such, you should not be vulnerable to this particular issue. Now, the tricky thing, of course, is then what to do if you find yourself to be vulnerable. Well, in that case, you probably want to change the server's secret keys. That, of course, requires also that the clients will accept the new key. That's always sort of a little bit uh, one of those things where people tend to be sloppy when it comes to SSH. And you're definitely not affected by this vulnerability if you click OK anyway whenever you see sort of a bad SSH signature. And then we do have some Juniper or JunoS vulnerabilities that are being exploited in the wild now. Uh, these vulnerabilities were originally patched uh, mid-August, but are now actually being exploited. And uh, this includes one vulnerability in particular with a CSS score of 9.8. That's CVE 2023-36845. Uh, this is a uh, PHP external variable modification vulnerability. 
Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.